Hi, my name's Dave Buich. My wife and I founded Wood River Cellars in 2007. Since 2007, we have won over 20 awards from San Francisco to New York. For the last few years, a lot of people have asked me why our handcrafted wines are different than, say, a grocery store wine. I wanted to take the next few minutes to explain to you what our processes are and how different our commitment is than, say, a grocery store wine. The gentleman sitting next to me is Neil Glancy. He is responsible for all the awards that we have won in such a short time here at Wood River Cellars. I'd like Neil to take a few minutes and explain our processes and our commitment to our handcrafted wines. One of our sayings here at Wood River Cellars is pure from ground to glass. And what that really means is we actually start in the vineyard. We actually own our own vineyard. We actually have the soils that are Rocky Bordeaux style soils that create some really good intensity in the fruit. Hey Neil, let me ask you a question. Why is it important that we have a southern facing vineyard and rocky soil? What does that, how does that enhance the quality of the grape? So the southern facing slope gives us enough heat that we can actually ripen the red, red grapes. So we can grow Malbec, we can grow Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot and be able to get it really ripe. And then as far as the rocky Bordeaux soil, it stresses the vines so that way they really have to struggle to get that intensity to, to, to grow the fruit and all that intensity comes through in the quality of the fruit once it comes once it's grown. And we also prune back, is that right? And we prune everything back to only two tons per acre. Most wineries go to four to five tons per acre and when they do that they lose that quality so we have better sugars, better acids and it really gives a liveliness on your tongue once you ferment those grapes out. So the difference is that we probably take or we do take a lot more care with our grapes um, how do other wineries or winemakers make up for the things oh, that we're doing? Well, when they do that, um, you say if they're lacking acid, they'll start dumping citric or tartaric acid or all these chemicals in. And that's one of those things. We pick the grapes when they're perfectly balanced off the vine. So that way we don't have to do all those winemaker tricks to actually make a great wine. Well, let's talk about harvest. Okay, okay. so now you have taken extreme care and caution with our grapes because it starts with the grape, is that right? Absolutely. Okay, so now it's harvest time. What do we do differently at harvest time than most vineyards do? So what most large commercial wineries do is they use actually mechanical harvesters. And what they'll do is they'll go through and they'll pick everything off the vine. Overripe fruit, underripe fruit, bird snakes, bugs, everything kind of goes into the bin. And what they call this is, is actually some of the extra things that are in there that aren't grapes, they call mog, material other than grapes. And that's one thing that just doesn't sit well with me. So we actually hand pick all of our fruit, making sure that we only get the finest fruit that comes off. Nothing overripe, nothing underripe. We just get the best fruit ever. And I'm there watching every box as it's picked and brought to the winery. So now we have the grapes that you've harvested. They're in the bins. Yes. And we are going to transport them back here to Wood River Cellars. Is that right? Yes. We have different practices here also. Absolutely. And so from from the time we bring the fruit back from the vineyard, we actually handle it as gently as we can. We have a brand new crusher that we use that just handles the grapes very gently. It breaks the skin of the grape, but doesn't grind it up because if you grind it up and break the seeds, you get what they call bitter phenolic compounds and can make your wine bitter. So this is how we crush and distem our, our fruit, handling it by hand most of the way. You know, grapes, I have bitten into seeds, you know, grapes that have seeds in them, and I get that bitter taste. Is that what you're talking about? Absolutely. Okay. The bitter phenolic compounds is kind of like biting into a lemon. You'll taste the really harsh tannins right at the back of your tongue. Okay. And that's what we're trying to avoid getting is those harsh tannins that don't add quality to the, to the wine. So once we get these perfect grapes that come to the winery, we actually do small batch fermentations. Uh, with the reds, we'll actually crush them and let them sit on the skins for anywhere between three to four weeks where we punch them all down by hand. So punching and, down means? Well, that's how we actually mix them. You always see the old Italian guys stomping on the grapes. It really helps extract all that flavor, color, and tannin out of the skins of the grapes. If you look at the juice of a Merlot grape, it's actually white on the inside, or a Cabernet grape, it's white on the inside. Until you let them soak on the skins, that's where you get all that nice color and tannin. And so that's what we'll do, is we'll actually do that fermentation for three to four weeks, and then from there, we'll, we'll press the, the juice off the skins, and then bring it into the French oak barrels and start the aging process. And the French oak barrels are a huge part of what we do. Uh, most wineries, if they can afford oak barrels, use American oak barrels. And French oak barrels are about three times the cost. 
and give this beautiful vanilla and delicate tannins to the wines. Whereas the American oak has a tendency to be very harsh. So it's just another part of our commitment to making a great wine. You know, Neil, our commitment is to French oak and to quality. And there has to be some type of aftercare to this wine once it gets in the French oak barrels. What kind of things do you do? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you, you don't just throw it in the barrels and hope for the best. I mean, we are constantly testing it. Uh, we have a state-of-the-art laboratory here. So it's one, one of those things that most small wineries don't have. We're able to be able to take that information, make some really good decisions, and turn it around in the same day where other small wineries will have to send it off and, and wait several days before they get that information back. And what kinds of things can happen? Um, you know, bottle acidity, where it tests for vinegar, that's a huge thing. Uh, free SO2s, sugars, acids, pH, all those things that play into the chemistry side of making wine. At the end of this process, after we bottle it, uh, it's, a, it's a product in Idaho that's been grown here, made here, bottled here, and it just, and we're winning medals nationally. And it's something we're really, really proud of. It's something you'd be proud to share with your friends wherever they are in the country. We like to invite all of you to visit Wood River Cellars here in Eagle, Idaho. You can play bocce ball on our regulation bocce ball courts. You can listen to live concerts, live music, have dinner on the weekends, possibly take a wine tour with our good looking winemaker, Neil Glancy. But what's most important here at Wood River Cellars, you just to get here and taste our wine. And I know that you will agree that our, that our wine is pure from ground to glass.